Because I'm presuming, you know, it's how many times you can start it. I'm presuming he can help if I start. It does, in fact, switch back on. Yes, yes, here you go. Come on, come on. We do it again. He kind of goes, oh, oh, and kind of gets back to the um, Dance Dance Revolution style map. <laughs> dance, dance, okay. dance. I miss Dance Dance Revolution. Okay. Next up for the first Oh, <laughs> shitting <laughs> hell, of boss. Why is that <laughs> Are you okay? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Honest. I, I swear I'm not just taking 20 on these. <laughs> We're gonna suck so much ass tomorrow, you realise this. That's Curse normal. This. You know how I work in the other game. I look, true, forward, true. I look forward to this. T turns out I was just meant to play a kobold all along. True. Either, either that or we were supposed to play Saturdays. <laughs> oh lord. But uh, as Epos, I don't know, does some fresh funky dance moves <laughs> revolutionize, revolutionizing the genre, uh, the screen flashes. With, it up comes kind of like a hand, but the hand has skills growing on it. And it goes, ah, well, uh, transportation, that's it. Do you, you got one? I don't think I do. I think I think does. transmutation and po possibly conjuration are like the only ones I don't have. Uh, what kind of spells would be in transmutation? Invocation, uh, that's universal. Message. Oh, oh, Mage Hand, that's transmutation. There you go, cast. Okay. Let's go quickly check stuff of us, universal. No, oh, you're right. right. No, you, there are only two spells in the universal school for canon tricks, precipitation and arcane mark. Whack. But the screen flashes green. And he kind of claps and says, Okay, I can definitely get this next one. Okay, uh, okay, come on. It, it was just getting mate. quite excited, sort of bouncing on his dance mat. Whoops. Okay, he in fact does manage to get this next one. Up flashes the fire symbol again, and he just casts a spark cantrip. Which Fair flashes enough. green. He, he's quite happy, welcome to get his, like, one spell. Okay, the final one that pops up is basically what looks like a sheep coming out of a portal. Uh, a sheep coming out of a portal? Conjuration of some form of teleportation or summoning school. I was thinking just, mm, conjuration or polymorph. It could just be conjuration. It is just conjuration. If it's just conjuration, if you have cure -like wounds, that's conjuration healing. I do, but if I have a cantrip that has that... Uh, there you go, create water, that's conjuration. Okay. You cast your create water, you know, plops onto the floor, and the screen flashes green once again. The, flo the flap underneath it flips open, and you get two coins this time. Two coins. Ah, uh, it's awkward. He did help, but I could have passed that one anyway, but I'll toss him a coin. <laughs> he kind of just grins to you and goes, uh, I'm Aster. I didn't actually give you my name. What what does he look like? Like is he human? Is he nerdy? Is he? Yeah, he's human. He's kind of just a short human, with kind of like a shock of brown hair and a lot of freckles. Uh, not much else to him. He's kind of a bit vaguely spindly. Most of his bulk just comes from these big chunky uh, gloves he has. <laughs> if I sort of nods his head head a few times, times it's, it's like, "Hi, hi, Ipos. Nice meet meet you." Um, little magic man. Epos doesn't really use names very often. That's fair. I will also not remember his name. Uh, I will try. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was it? Aster? Aster, yes. Um, I have actually written a note, and yes, 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 you sort of random cast cantrip activate. Right, let's see. J-Max now I'm thinking, to... fuck, what spells does Ippos not have? <laughs> no, it's not that. You have a random chance, essentially, of this letting you do it every time, mm -hmm. but I'm afraid your time has run out. Uh, the screen does not activate as you cast really? cantrip. Really? I only did it once. Yeah. You think, perhaps, maybe there's more to it than just activating it? 
it just basically like goes up and just starts thumping the top of it, like when a TV stops working. It's like, come on, why you stop work? Uh, as you do that, you hear static. I hit it, it a few more times. <laughs> uh, the static increases. You think it might not like you hitting it? Oh, this is such a bad idea. <laughs> Um, I'm going to attempt a use magic device as I'm hitting it to try and, like, make it work. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a bad idea. <laughs> Go for it. 25! <laughs> Tinder. Tinder. Apparently the kobold just gets what he wants. If you can, if you can feed it... Let's see. Okay, if you can feed two spell slots worth of spells, Ippos finds that if he forces his own magic into the device, it will in fact activate again. Mm, I can do that, but what spells do I want to get rid of? Right, I'll get rid of that one, that's one spell level. And I only had one left of my sorcerer, I think, because I get two a day. So, yeah, I guess I'll do that. Why? Wait a minute. Hmm? You saying the sorcerer? You only get no. I, don't I? Um, sorcerer, oh no, no, I get three. Plus one, which is four spells. Yes. I, I get what of first level spells. Sorcerer, yes. Mm-hmm. My charisma. My sheet is set up then. My sheet is set up wrong. Then I have it set to two, two plus charisma. Set. Two spell sounds more like closer to what the, the druid would get closer to. Oop. Yes, I am looking on the wrong because I I have the multiple spell classes set up. Yeah. So I yeah I've I, I've set up that up wrong. Just need to keep the mind to toggle between them. Yeah, it's it's a thing. I'm not used to playing spell casters to begin with, and then playing two at the same time. It's it's a yeah, thing. Maybe... Helpful, just like hey, I don't know if you if you click just like the level and caster ability to hide it until you need it. It might be easier to differentiate between the two of them. Uh, doubtful, but <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> well, you can at but... least see your spells a bit easier. Yes, but that does mean I can spend another one of my sorcerer spells to activate it instead of two castings left over of my first level spells. That's true. So, yeah, basically I force it to start again. Ah, <laughs> oh, finally, I got the last one. Okay. This time, the machine doesn't actually flash up with like a... or at least not a magic associated symbol this time. Instead, flashes up with a... Okay, it flashes up with a 1. So a first level spell, I'm guessing. Yes. So... I cast one of my first level sorcerer spells. Okay, it accepts that. I've got one left on there. That's where you get in the fight later on today. Annoyingly, I can't seem to put in how many I've used for my first level spells. Uh, you might need to click total up manually. Yeah, that's annoying. There we go. Okay, second one, it shows a hand with just kind of a goat of fire extending for it. Astrica goes, ah, I can get this one, and casts, you think, some kind of fire variation of Acid Splash. Okay, I was guessing Burning Hands, but, you know, that'll do. And the last one. Do either of you have Acid? Uh, I can do. I can make any of my spells Acid. In which case, well, I thought, I thought everybody... Spells, I thought any of the spells could be lightning. No, I am a, a elemental bloodline, so I can change to whatever. Is, isn't it? Are you, you want an elemental bloodline? Uh, uh, well, any... the... Yeah, you can change any of your spells to lightning because you're elemental bloodline. Yes, uh, what did I have then? I know I had something for changing to whatever. <clears throat> I realise I've... Uh, Astra uh, can no, technically... no, I didn't. Uh, but I believe wasn't wasn't it like zero level spell acid arrow or acid splash yeah, acid or something? Splash. 
Yes, that's what I reflavored for my um, elemental ability, I'm sure. So I can just cast right. that and not make it lightning. Yes. In which case, you'll succeed once again. Uh, as you do this, you notice the screen, as it like shuts down, gets staticky. Uh, perhaps it's, you, you know, using the machine in a way it's not supposed to be used, maybe not the brightest idea, but you got more coins. Yeah, it was knows well. when to not push his luck. <laughs> yeah, uh, random roll is also perhaps telling you not to push your luck as it spits out one coin. I can't exactly split one coin between us. But Can you? I, I did most of the work there, so... <sighs> As <real. laughs> Astro looked to a side and said, Fine, you, you did help me. Take it. I think we can still do more of this tomorrow, it's just not today. Yes, yes, we, we come back tomorrow. Team up, up again. We, we make good team. We go um, get, go get sure. food, drink now. See other things. Uh... Um, so, Okay. They sort of gestures for Asta to follow. Ippos has a new friend. He's he's just decided you're his friend. <laughs> Friends now. Sure, you can lead him to wherever it is you wish to go get food. Technically, Visco has a cafeteria, but there's also the cafe and the bakery and such outside. Ippos doesn't know the way to the ca to the cafeteria, so unless. As the sort of drags him there, he'll be heading out towards the bakery cause that, and the cafe, because that's where he knows. Fair enough. Which, as you lead him away, we have one person who's not been looked at currently much, which is our resident bedhead, Aaron. Snore. How, how, how is your long lion? Um, long and a lion. He's still sleeping? I mean, at this point, she'll probably wake up, blink a few times, wander downstairs, realize no one's here. No, there's still a few people here. There's, uh, let's see. Mostly it's Bella. She's kind of sitting there sipping on some tea. She gives you a little wave and says, uh, there's some breakfast stuff left in the kitchen if you want it. I think you're uh, a bit late, though. Right. Okay. Um, sure. Okay. Um, she's going to. On Rusty, scoop by the kitchen. Notice there's no bacon left. Grab a few flatbreads and get from the last night's curry. Sure. There's like probably, you know, some leftover fruit. Maybe a sausage or two. I keep forgetting Rusty's like doesn't need to eat, so I'm thinking, I oh, yes, need to eat. Good, good dog food. Yeah. No, doesn't need to eat. Just wind him up every day. Fair enough. Uh, assuming you exit the kitchen, Bella just yep. says, uh, I believe your friends went to go check out the club show thing. Oh, shit, the club's okay? Uh, well, they're advertising themselves. Today. Boom! Gone. Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> Aaron, uh, not even, barely ready. Yeah. In pajamas, racing yep. out of the hall. But yes, you, you can anime rum with toast in your mouth to yep. the to the clubs. Uh, I suppose there is a good question. Are main groups still there, or would you have gotten bo uh, bored of the clubs by now? Because you will probably hear Aaron before you see her. Yeah, no, uh, Silas is probably still there because he's been talking with all of the club. Like, the club, uh, I, I don't know, representatives, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. It's mostly... Learning as much as you can about um, the whole. It's mostly like upper year students who are doing it. You do spot a few, well, one first year leading some class or, or one club or other. Did Wolf see any of the people he teamed up with in his massive royale against the robot yesterday? Yeah, he probably noticed a few of them. They are probably going for the more common clubs. Fair enough. I have an odd question. Go for it. Is there like a magical home economics club? Mm. Like doing like stuff around the home with magic? Yes. There's probably not a club for that actually. That's probably just a thing people kind of do rather than 
form a club for it, but it could be a thing you might want to make later if you think people would be interested. Yes, let's form a club to do chores. We need to make this more anime. Uh, Alana probably would stick around if she recognizes anybody, which is really the space probably looking for people like Roland and, uh, why is my, why is my mind blanking? Staff. Yes, thank you. Uh, you all know Staff point. goes and signs up for the equestrian club. Is it because he has a water horse? Because he has water horse. You see Aaron also immediately Four. go over to there too, so. Yeah, Silas is also joining that. The booth, quotation marks, for the equestrian club basically has, uh, there's a very noble, snooty looking woman, and there is a slightly more down to the earth looking boy. They're kind of got, they've got a pair of horses there. They're kind of just showing them off to people being like, this is a horse. This is how we, this is like, this is horse care. We do things like that. We race them. Uh, Erin slams well, her hands on the table quietly because she's weak. Do you race? <laughs> Uh, yes, we hold races every couple of weeks. I'm in. Where do I sign? Uh, there. Do you need a pen? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Are you sure? Do you have one in that hair of yours? She, she pulls out, actually, yeah, yes, actually. Um, she pulls out a hair and a pin out of her hair and starts scribbling onto the thing. You know, Alana actually might sign up for that as well, solely because a lot of people she knows. And she can probably bribe staff into letting her use uh, Ruble on occasions that she has a horse that just will listen to her. This is about growing points of having the squid like you. That's true. Even though you have seven Bid. charisma. Ruvala is currently not out, but I mean, there's nothing, there's certainly not, not much stopping you from signing up for a class. I mean, I. Alana has an innate fear of pissing off a horse. It'll fucking kill her. That's fair. Horses are scary. They're huge. She weighs like 80 pounds. They weigh like 1,000 pounds. That's Anything a lot of pounds. Anything with that innate thickness is just a danger. I see salt snake is also a danger then. Yep. Dummy thick. That's true. Uh, one thing. Uh... Uh, as Erin, you sign up, she looks and says, I'm supposing you're one of those people who have the more uncommon of mint. Looking at you, Rusty. Yep, as she's still signing. How could you tell? Oh, I'm just very, very astute. Don't worry about me. Okay, good. Um, Right, is that a problem? No, technically you are allowed to join, as any other student is. Good, that's what I thought. Oh, Alright. Glad I didn't miss this. Alright, good. Oh, your horse is gonna lose. Oh, we'll see. Oh, oh, jeez. Um, hi. Uh, Miss Silas, what are you doing here? I'm joining because it is, it is of noble, well... It is one of the skills a noble must have. They must know how to... Of course. Right. All right. And uh, that, this was one of the last people I was expecting. Hi. Uh, what's your name again? Yeah, she, uh, she's looking at Rose. Oh, I know. It would do you some good to at least remember the names of the people that you've met. Probably. Uh... My name is Alana, and she kind of looked over at stuff. I, I don't, I, I quite like animals actually, although I feel like there's going to be more than one opportunity where I just ask my friend there if I can use his eidolon. She kind of pauses to make sure she's making the right assumption. He nods. On occasion instead, because um, I, I'm not in favor of setting such a large animal. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd actually recommend that. Um, right, cool. Okay, I guess this was going to be a little bit more of a public event than I thought it was going to be. Okay. I suppose that's not a bad thing. That doesn't mean that we're all going to do things such as racing. Maybe we're just enthusiastic about animals. Oh, I suppose it's, that's true. 
It's true. Um, Not all of our members like to race their animals. Uh, for those of us who do breeding and such, we like to compare tips and uh, share. I'm fucking 12. I'm sorry. This nice. Year, we like to breed and we like to compare tips. Have you ever met a horse girl? No, I know. They're all fucking insane. <laughs> <laughs> My mum has horses, can confirm, completely insane. One of my best friend's girlfriend is a horse girl, and she also does like swimming, like, almost Olympic level. She's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> she takes everything far too seriously. She has ambitions and goals. Fucking disgusting. I can't. I was in the chemistry class with her, and oof. Oof. Too much energy there. The pep. It's unbearable. Uh, Staff, have you seen Roland around at all? I kind of expected him to sign up for one of the more um, musically inclined clubs. I have not. I was going to make a joke about him being too short to see, but I'm mm, not, not much skill in there either. Um, we could go check at his dorm. I suppose that that is an option, yes. That's that, or we call out his name here, like a lost child. I don't probably a better idea. Roland. You just see Alana roll her eyes. Ironically, Roland does actually appear from the crowd. <laughs> Why did that actually work? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I suppose, it, I suppose it's a stereotypical thing for a reason. Roland comes over and says, Have you seen all the clubs? There's so many. Yes, we were right here too. Oh. Uh, <laughs> have, you, have you joined any already? Um, Alana makes a general motion towards the equestrian club. And then also makes a general motion towards the fancy mixed martial name. M M M M E. Yes, the seventeen M's. I know I'm no putting too many M's in there, but that, that's M M M A C. Yeah, it would have to be Mac. Ma. Mixed magical martial arts club. Yes, with M M M A C. So I suppose it would be an in joke within the club to just add M's. Oh, J Mac, is there a? They're also all big fans of cheese. Either a musical club that like focuses more on like the theory of music, or something that would just be okay with her not actively participating and just watching because her mother is pretty good at singing and she's interested in stuff like that. You could probably like find art appreciation. Basically appreciation. Something like that. Yeah, you could probably join <laughs> Cirilla. You could probably join like a more casual music club, as you can imagine, orchestra. No. Not, no that's yeah. definitely not fitting. Uh you could probably find something that's probably along the lines of like Bardic studies, where it's just kind of, oh, we have a, a reason to sit around and play music with each other every so often. Okay, as long as she's not expected to sing, because that's not happening and she doesn't want, want to embarrass herself. Although, maybe I'll figure that out later. Maybe I'll make her have a perform. Maybe she'd be secretly really good at it. I can be a trait. Mother jeans. Yeah. Uh, if you mention to Roland that you've signed up for that, he'll kind of uh, go, oh, um, I'm just going to be back. I'm going to go look at a few more clubs. Yeah, you, you, how good's uh, Lana's sense move? <laughs> I have negative wisdom. Okay, never mind. She might not realize then. Uh, he's signing up for that, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Are you doing a thing? Or is that... She blinks and looks over at staff. It's hard to tell at this point, honestly. We'll, we'll see. It's been a day. We're I... moving on very quickly. Right. What is that really cool club over there that has it for all the swords and stabs and explosive things? Uh, you said you signed up for it? Oh, it's... um. She kind of pauses. The um, Mixed Magical Martial Arts Club, which is a lot of words for... We we fused all of the martial clubs together because everyone was tired of being special. Do they yeah. allow things that are? They'll, they'll Would they, they allow me riding rust? Yes, um, yes, they I will. I imagine that's like a special circumstance. I'm gonna go sign up for that too. I think we're all gonna be in clubs yeah. together. That's wonderful. Yeah. Great. I'm, well, I mean, of course, I'm in that one as well. I'm just thinking out of character. I imagine at some point there was a um, 
there was probably basically like a night club or like a jousting club that got merged in. More than likely. But I do like the fact that the group is apparently merging with the mixed martial arts class. I mean, in fairness, it's a very easy club to be in if you don't care about challenging other people to duels and they're not particularly high up on the um, mm -hmm. you know, ranking. The, dif the difference now is Wolf can challenge all of you to a duel. It's true. Yeah. And Silas is going to be exclusively focusing on magical duels and psychic duels. So he's probably not going to be going to be crossing over with you guys too much. Just wait until I unlock the most powerful magic of all. And at that point, you get hold person. I have hold still. still. I mean, actually, by that point, I'll probably have bonus on my will save, so. Aha! Mm -hmm. Yes, eventually, if we ever do get around to people challenging each other to duels or wanting to build their, or get their way up the club, we'll probably start using the dueling rules, because one on one combat is dreadfully dull otherwise. Wolf Smash? Wolf me smash. Tama, can I DM you something for a second? Go for it. Let me find her. I guess I'll, now we're using stamina, I'm going to look up. You cut out JMac. what? I died, whoops. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, it's just Discord decides shit itself. I've been looking at using uh, stamina for basically you learning tricks. Depending on your kind of weapons, though, so perhaps maybe spending stamina to do something cool, like I don't know, maybe big weapon smash with an AOE sort of deal for you, since you're using a big old hammer. The biggest hammer. It's been, it's been hard to think of things for weapons. It's been a lot easier to think of things for like, you know, fisticuffs, because well, martial arts already has good names for all of those. I mean, I'll accept Titan Smash. It might not particularly be like a feat, but it might be you can do something for while you spend stamina, or you can spend stamina to do something. I recommend peering at the weapon tricks folder. Yeah, I don't particularly just want to straight up copy something, but I'll probably take, you know, inspiration from it. Sure. I also can't remember where I wrote all that shit down. I better not have lost it. Anyway. Oh! Rusty doesn't have a con and can't gain stamina. Oh, wow. He's already, yeah. already running at 100%. You can't push him beyond 100%. Yeah. Just something I realized. That sucks. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, there we go. That's where I saved it. Okay. Anyone else claiming more clubs to join right now? So I can rate uh, it then. Uh, unless there's like, like a... I'm not tracking yours, just send me them in the thing later. I was going to. <laughs> I was going to, I've already got them written down somewhere. And as I said, I'm like, mine are attached to my sheets, so... Yes, yes. thank you. Along with my classes as well. So technically um, you can't just leave a club whenever, if it gets too much. For right now, I think Ash is just going to be in the magical crafting and probably cooking clubs. Sure. Magical crafts is a bit more sparsely populated because obviously, you know, all of the magical crafting feats are kind of higher level things. But you do kind of get told that as part of it, if you're a more junior... Oh, you get it. You do get told as part of a magical crafts club, uh, you get a tutor who will essentially teach you the ways of some form of magical crafting and assuming you get in their good enough books you they could potentially help you make your own stuff cool ash is also hoping this will be the case in the cooking club uh yeah there's definitely a sort of thing where it's like okay our more newer members can go to these events and learn this more experienced members are kind of you know you have your own thing but you're part of a club so you're expected to help should we have events at say a fair or you know Maybe even teaching other students things. Jesus Christ, Bigby. Bigs, you have a problem. I would like to join the magical crafting, so I have three. That's it. That's done. Go for it. I, I can't have any more than three. 
I am a noble. It is expected of me to be to be at the forefront of all social gatherings. Just so I can qualify, though. So, Alana, how many copies do you have? Um, maybe four. That's the maximum she'd go for. Okay, so I'm just wondering if Wolf's got the least number of classes and Wolf's number, least number of times at two. Because I'm, I only I'm, have two. If I'm gonna go this uh, the four round. On the other hand, would you plan to take a third class? Me? No. I know someone would plan to take a third class. I'm only taking two classes, so. You've learned your lesson from your life college. Yeah, I learned my lesson from taking twenty credits last semester. Take the recommended number, not above it. I normally take above it, actually. I normally take 16 credits, which is above what they recommend, which is 12. Fair enough. Which, I should also say, were you going to a cafe? Was it? Uh, Cafe, bakery, that sort of area, yeah. One of the two. <laughs> Probably by now, as people have discussed and talked to other people, you could kind of wander past with Aster and... Ah, there's a bunch of stalls set up with a bunch of people. Okay. Aster kind of, like, disinterestedly glances at stuff, but doesn't really go over. Have you already been in that mess? No. Uh... It's just, you know, people are already doing club stuff. Oh. I get food and then, then go look. Fair enough. Oh, I can see my roommate. But he'll follow you into Sherry's cafe. And Please, if... can someone try to convince Ippos to sign up for the mixed martial arts thingamajig? I want to punch him. <laughs> That's on the spear. Clearly he would be able to do it. Um, if Ippos is nice to his new friend, he did take the magic coin, but he will basically pay for whatever his friend wants to eat. Because he's nice. And he actually has coins. What have you done with the cobbled? He's always been nice. You, don't, you guys just don't get him. But an hour or so will tick by as you investigate clubs, eat breakfast slash lunch again. Brunch. Brunch. Lunch. And it is now coming up to early eve- not evening, fucking hell, that's a lot of time. Early afternoon. Oh, if- oh, pre Early pre-afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, because like an hour before- for noon, uh, Silas is going to go back to the dorm and, and be sitting there waiting for interviewees. Okay, then, for your magical Simon says. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry if I broke the machine before you got to it. Hey, uh, hey, J-Mac. Just we. Would I be able to go track down a tome of epics to buy? Sure, if you have the money for it. Oh, I don't I know how expensive that is. I have not. Sp it's like fifty gold. I haven't. Sp I haven't spent okay. any of my money. That's fair. Uh, yeah. Your best bet for that is either the general supplies or you know hunting down one of the uh, clubs and be like, "Hey, do you sell books?" I would attempt to barter, but that's not my uh a lot of sting. She has a, a nice seven charisma, no praise, so she'll just accept the payment before she makes that's it worse. Fair. Sure, you can probably go to the general supply store. He has a lot of shit being the yeah. only shop around and probably, you know, goods baron of the land. Wolf would like to work the afternoon at the, uh, at the tavern. Sure. Presumably, you know, yesterday you hashed something out with Sherry, maybe, maybe showed should. her some of your techniques and knowledge. She seems, you know... You're adequate, adequate for what she needs. I mean, she does have either basic understanding of cooking, and I have enough endurance that I can wait tables for hours. You're not gonna burn the tavern down, that's a very big qualifier. I mean, she does, thank thankfully, she will be aware that he has no access to fire magic, actually, he has no access to spells. 
fair. And yeah, he's and he can't uh, and he's good enough at cooking. He won't burn the place down. Sure, she'll either offer you a shift waiting tables or working in the kitchen. I mean, it might end up being a hybrid depending on when it gets busy, right? Fair. She has a few, presumably either of her students or maybe someone else. There's like probably two people working with the tables now and like two in the kitchen. So you're free to do whatever you wish for now. I said wherever it gets busy, right? Yeah. yeah I'll, work, I'll work a day shift because walk is broke, literally. Sure. That's fair. So Wolf is working. Which... Profession checks are usually for week, right? Profession checks are for week, but you can do it for day by dividing by seven. There are, that is yeah. a thing you're allowed yeah. to do, if you would like to. Sure, in which case if you want to figure out how much money you make for every day, either roll or, you know, do sure, whatever it is you're able to. So basically, I roll a dice roll. Um, yeah. and, what, and whatever my result is, that's the number of point gold pieces I get in a week, so just divide whatever I get basically. Ten. Oh wait, no, not nice. I thought you were saying you got ten gold. No, nope, which means it's one gold and four silver for the day. And that's not bad for a day. No, it's not. Untrained labor, if I had no skill points, would be uh, one silver piece. Turns out you kind of need a skill rank and things to be good at it. But... Knowledge. So. Both is working, Silas is doing interviews. Mm, what's Ash doing, Torin? Um probably talking to like now that Ash has like got an idea of what they want their uh clubs to be and probably their uh their classes that they're going to take, they're gonna go over to the general supplies and just start inquiring about like just um materials that would probably sound strange to normal people but this guy has probably been dealing with like the children of adventurers and esoteric individuals from all over the world so it's probably pretty standard fare to him but stuff like ash needs you know like branches of rowan wood and like a bag of salt and some ashes of you know a particular variety and other sure. such mundane odds and candles you'll, and whatnot. Yeah, you'll find that a decent like corner of his shop is dedicated to reagents, as can be expected. A lot of money to be made from a campus with a lot of wizards and other such. Uh, some of the uh, like some things he definitely kind of like raises like maybe a point four of an eyebrow to like the um wormwood and ashes of different things because that isn't typically you know reagents for spells. I assume that's more for your kind of own ward working sort of deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can definitely buy it. Uh, I would say if it's for specific projects, just spend as much money as you want and note it down as say like warding supplies. Should you find, need money for stuff later, you can use that for it. Yeah, no, I mean, this is... I'm not going to drop a lot of money on this right now, because I imagine anything meaningful will probably come up in Ash's classes, but this is more of just like a... Uh, like a stuff to practice with kind of deal. Yeah. I don't know if you also bother checking, but he does have a few books on different topics, but they tend to be more pricier. Mm, yeah, no, I don't have a lot of money. Fair mm, enough. Let's see, I'm mostly just like buying candles, ashes, salt, bit of wood. I'm oh. going to drop like 10 gold on supplies. Go for it. Which doesn't sound like very much until you realize how cheap everything I'm buying is. I mean... Candles are like a copper a piece. You could get like a thousand, a thousand, a thousand candles. Is that right? Yeah. No, that's correct. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Ash just comes back with like a pallet worth of candles. Okay. I have a platinum piece. I, I will buy a thousand candles. I I, I spent I fifteen gold on, on sewing candles. supplies. That's true. Apples is Fred person. Literally but, um... fifteen gold on sewing supplies. Mm-hmm. 
but yeah, yeah. no, a- Ash is just kind of buying just like weird salts and strangely specific ashes and rowan wood and fair enough. Don't mind, uh, me, don't mind me putting things into chat. I'm t- I'm just trying to make a daily income. Um, like macro, but I'm working. Fair enough. So I'm just trying to figure out how to macro that properly. That's all. Let's see. Aaron, you ran out of bed at high speeds. You signed up for all of the presumable clubs you wanted to attend. Yep. Uh, Didn't even read the brochure. Just found out the ones I liked and signed up. I'll figure out what they do later. Fair enough. <laughs> Like, technically, you can leave a club at any point, just, you know, if you keep on hopping back in and back out, people might get annoyed. Yes. So, uh, crafting, uh, equestrian, and uh, the MMMMMMMM. Hey, you signing up for MMMMMMA, see, gets kind of a few odd looks, because, well, you know, Aaron's not, there's not much to Aaron. What are you looking at? Uh, it's no- nothing. Hi. No, no, no. Are, are you? What? What's your thing? What are you thinking? Uh, are you? Uh, I don't mean to be rude, but are you signing up your dog? No. I can accept duels at any time, right? Uh, technically, when you get signed up for the club, yes. Who am I talking to, by the way? Uh, probably just some other kid who's like standing next to the table, also like looking over brochures. Okay. He just kind of like slowly starts walking away. Did he sign up? Uh, you can check for brochure. I check. Uh, sure. Brochure. Wrong word. Uh, Piercy has signed up. If you want his name, it is Lewis. Uh, surname. What's the surname? Quickly. Oh, that's um, Lewis. This is going to keep saying Martin. You. This is Martin funny. Lewis. His name is full. First name is Martin. His last name is Lewis. Lewis Quickly. Sure. Yes, sure. that's his name. Lewis Quickly. Damn it. I should have put run away. <laughs> Sounds sweet. Cast the detect magic. Just putting, just putting spells down. Okay. Sure, you have you you can mark that down on Erin's long list of potential enemies that she's slowly accruing. Trot over to Lewis right now. No, he he starts walking. He starts power walking. <laughs> Don't play a game you can't fight up, Lewis. Come on. No, S- stop chasing me. He kind of starts <laughs> ducking around other students. I am much faster than you. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll see you later, Lewis. Fuck, go away. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna be fun. Aaron goes back to the group. Wow, Aaron, you're just, you're just determined to create enemies, aren't you? She's she, if she's everyone's gonna call her out. She's gonna make them eat those words. That's fair, I suppose. Ah, Brendan. Yeah, but wait, wait, dark. You don't need to round that much because silver pieces and copper pieces exist. No, that's the problem. Is I can't make it calculate them separately. It's meaning I need it to kept around two decimal places, but rotating doesn't have a function for that. Yeah. Uh, Dang. So I'm having fun with trying to do mathematical calculations around that. I believe in you. I can do it. It's just I'm being need to figure out exactly what I have to do. Yeah, it needs to figure well, out a trick. What you could do is try and calculate it into copper pieces, and you'd basically just multiply everything up a hundred. That's basically what I'm planning to do here. The divide by 700 would be trying to shorten it all down because I also have to divide by 7. So why not do it in one equation? Yeah. You'll get it eventually. My brain hurts. That's <laughs> fine. Continue, please. Uh, speak of, what is Alana doing? Uh, good question. I mean, once she's done signing up for things, he's probably going to like sink away because just people are discussing his. That's fair. You did notice that uh, Silas has left to go do the thing he was talking about earlier. I suppose she'll go over and feign interest in it. She'll entertain him. Okay. 
save. There we go. Got a statement. We're still over there. Not quite. Close. Hello. Oh God, what have you done? Ah, uh, Silas. Are you here for? Are you here for an interview? You. She's not good at hiding like any sort of uh. I guess social quirks she might have. So you do notice her like have this visible flint when he says that. Uh, yes, I I am. All right then. In that case, what are your magical skills? Uh, she kind of pauses, like to think of how to like, I I suppose explain herself properly. But in short, she will kind of like take out books that she carries around because she's a giant nerd and start talking about magical theory crafts with him and more specifying when it comes to using them for combat reasons so she'll talk more about stuff like you know shield mage armor to a lesser extent although she can't cast it she is very interested in it for a lot of reasons stuff like that mm -hmm. i want you to specify though i would like to know the schools sub schools and elemental Affinities of the spells, if possible, as well as their potential power, as it were. She starts counting on her hands. From what I have currently, it would be two abjuration, two transmutations, one evocation that has lightning affinity to it, um, one illusion, and one enchantment. Hmm. These range. Good. Good. And you do not seem to overlap too much with my own. With my own. All right, oh, yeah. I will keep oh, you in mind. I don't have cantrips on here yet. I need to figure that out later. From Shadows are there. <laughs> Good. I will keep you in mind then. I will tell you out of character that she probably would have more elemental affinity based off the cantrips that uh, yeah, Vegas yeah. have. It's just you know I don't have them there because I'm dumb. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I'm gonna grab that. I'll assume she has said something. Probably say it like acid splash and stuff like that. Are you here as well, Androgynous One, for a, for an interview? Uh, yes, you said you were going to take on that magical challenge, right? Indeed I was. Okay, what do you need to know? I will need your... I will need the spells you are able to cast, as well as the the relative power of them, also their schools, sub-schools, and any elemental affinities they might have. Hmm. As well as your ability to, if... If you're um outsider, Chris Melody, I believe. Sort of looks at did. Hmm. Disappointing. Disappointing, but we shall make do. Oh. So I'm very quiet. Hello, oh, darkness, my old friend. Torin? Torin, if you're speaking, can't hear you. Wait, I can, can you guys he is, but I can hear him. him. Yep, I can hear him. I can't. Oh, eh, uh, let's quickly reconnect. And I don't think J-Mac or Dark probably could either. That's not strange. Right, all right, the UK broke collectively. Hello. Oh, okay. Now I can. That, that was weird. I yeah, that could is... never not hear him. I think you guys are interrupting him. Like, wow, this is really rude. What the heck? He's talking right it's now. Like, no, no, he was completely silent. All right. Sorry. Continuing on. Yeah. I have mage armor, conjuration, creation, force. Itching Curse, Necromancy Curse, hmm. Protection from Evil, Abjuration Good, and uh, Lesser Rejuvenate Eidolon, Conjuration Healing, as well as a pair of what you might call Hexes, the Warding Hex and Healing Hex, both of which are not traditional spells, but they may still be useful. 
All right, then. Well, it seems that, again, you cover many, many areas that I do not, which is good. And he now waves you off and says, I will, I will contact you later. If Very I've chosen, well. to, chosen to use the applicant. And now Silas will wait for any, any NPCs that might have joined. Uh, Princeton, your roommate does come over and he kind of just like folds himself onto the seat and says, Oh, Silas, you're so silly. Are you here to interview? Sure. All right. First off, are you a, are you a magic user? Can you, can you weave magic into the world? Yeah. All right. What sort of magic? Uh, hmm. This is weird because Princeton one of the weird ones. He kind of just uh, picks up the small silver mirror that kind of hangs by his boat and says, I can do stuff for this. It's, you know, it's all shiny. It's beautiful. Hmm. All right. In that case, in that case, I would like to know the relative power of the spells that you have, as well as their schools, sub schools, and any elemental affinities that they might have. Oh, um, I pray, then I get what my god thinks is good for me. Cleric, okay. That is very, that helps a lot as well. Still, I need those. I need to know, so, what do oh, you have well, access to right now? Today I can do this, and uh, he just casts a spell. Give me spellcraft. Jesus. My spell slot. Yep, uh, that's a waste. Oh God. Uh huh. I love him. God, why? Do, 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 do. Where's my spellcraft? Should be under S. Yeah, skills, please. <laughs> there you are. Boop. Oh, really a 13? Uh, you have no idea, but you feel nice and tingly inside. It's almost as if someone like took you to a spa and like. Give you, like, a quick treatment. What spell was that? Oh, um... Hmm. Good question. It just makes people feel good and, you know, not afraid and... Better. Silas will mentally run through not afraid for spells. Not Approximately afraid. power that he might have. Amy, remote fear. Everybody. All right, I guess. Continue with what else you have. Uh, Preferably without using it. Oh, oh, okay. Um. Hmm. What else can I do today? Well, I can make you know cuts and bruises go away. Healing magic. All right, that's conjuration. Next. Mm, I can make stones do flashy things. Can I try and think what that might be? Well, I will point you back to you identified him as an Orid before, I believe. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah. So. Ah. That seems to be innate ability, I guess? Is that magic, or is that something else? Probably. Right. I love how infuriating Princeton is. Well, we, we will keep you in mind for later. Oh, later, your you. interview's done here. There you okay. Go. I'll see you later, Princeton. Wait, that's me! Wow. <laughs> nice. All right. Silas, protect that's him. it. Bye. We should uh, protect him at all costs. Silas, I, I love him so much more than Silas. Jesus. Can, can he become the PC? Tag out. Gods of love. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. In character, I, or, uh, as a person, I accidentally flubbed the name, but I'm glad that it fits his character well enough that you can, I could... Uh, <laughs> that, yeah, honestly, that was a... 
Yeah, I, I wasn't. Fine. I wasn't sure if that was a purposeful fluff or not. By the way, can I propose yeah. something right now? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, Dark is proposing. When, yes, uh, yes, I will. Oh. I'm just saying, NPC. <laughs> I'm just saying, whenever NPC misadventure if that ever comes round, I can see people fighting over to play him. Oh dear. <sighs> yeah, as a character, I love him. At, or like, as a player, I love him. As a character, <laughs> Silas is giving. He's giving him a migraine. <laughs> I think that's the entire point: is to be a Silas Athema. I know. <laughs> God, Sweet. whoever Nate. whoever designed the fucking student like uh, lodging situations knew. <laughs> Lee Kakos I wouldn't from, be from yeah, walls. I wouldn't be surprised if the person who did either was a divination or ugh, God. All right, next. Uh, the only other person here is Bella. She kind of. Comes over, lunges in the seat, and says, "So you had the fun time with Princeton, it seems." He is Princeton. I guess. <laughs> he sure is. Would you? Do you wish to to have him join the interview? You know, sure. I haven't entirely gotten too many coins so far, so. All right. In that case. First off, a general overview of your magic, uh, your magical profession, as it were. Uh, well, I'm very mixed, but on a whole, you can may call me a cryomancer with necromancer tendencies. Okay, good, good. All right, and now a, a general list of the spells you can cast, their strengths and their, uh, their schools and their subschools and or descriptions, and any elemental affinities they may. Well, I will start off with the obvious ones, and within my necromancy skills, I have Restore Corpse and Repair Undead, I'm sure you can understand why. Mm -hmm. Understandable, yes. Otherwise, I have Alarm, so Abjuration, and Mage Armor. Conjuration, Creation, and Force. Correct, yes. All right. Any others? Cantrips as well. Uh, otherwise, I have Snowball, so Ice and Water, and Windy Escape for Air. Uh, snowball is an evocation, correct? Yes. Good. Okay. And icy wind. Oh, windy escape. Windy escape. Yes. So I'm going to Which say is... that name. Now. I hope you're aware. Mm, sure. Which is specifics on that one? You did not say. I don't think. Oh, windy escape. That is transmutation air. All right. Good to know. All right. I will keep you in mind then. Cool. I think I have a better, a bit more of a shroom than Princeton, at least. <laughs> you do. You very much do. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, she will go over and sit on another chair. All right, and Silas will wait another, like, probably fifteen minutes because if no one comes in during that time, he'll think, mm, okay. And no one likes me. No. <laughs> Well, no, no, he's not no one does. 